Hello students, I am Tejesh from Tupa Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss the common tangents of two circles. First, let's see what common tangents are. Consider two circles with centers C1 and C2 and the radii A1 and A2 respectively. Now consider the following line. So a tangent is nothing but a line that touches the circle at single point, right? Here this line touches both of the circles at single point each. So therefore this is tangent to both of the circles at the same time, right? Hence it is known as the common tangent of the two circles. And for any two circles, there are two types of common tangents. The first are the following which are known as the direct common tangents. You can observe here, right? They touch both the circles on same side. So therefore they are known as direct common tangents. And the other are the following which are known as the transverse common tangents. They touch both the circles on opposite sides, right? Now there is one observation here. If you draw a line through the centers of both of the circles and let's consider the points of intersection of common tangents. D for the point of intersection of direct common tangents and T for the point of intersection of transverse common tangents. Now here both of these points lie on that same line we draw before. That is, the centers of the circles and the points of intersection of the common tangents lie on the same line. Or in other words, they are collinear. Now let's observe the direct common tangents. So you take the center C1, C2 and their point of intersection of direct common tangents D on a same straight line. Now you can observe that the point D divides the line segment C1, C2 externally Externally because this is outside the line segment, right? So therefore it divides it externally in the ratio A1 is to A2 Where A1 is the radius of the first circle and A2 is the radius of the second circle So it divides the line segment joining centers of the circles in the ratio of their radii So here it divides in the ratio A1 is to A2. It means that C1D by C2D will be equal to A1 by A2 so in this case, you can use the section formula for dividing externally. That is the following formula mx2 minus nx1 by m minus n and my2 minus ny1 by m minus n. This is the section formula for dividing externally. And here x1, y1 and x2, y2 are the centers of the circles. That is c1 is nothing but x1, y1 and c2 is nothing but x2, y2. And m is to n is nothing but a1 is to a2, the ratio with which the point D divides c1, c2. So now let's consider the transverse common tangents. So once again, consider the centers and the point of intersection of transverse common tangents T on a straight line. And here you will observe that T divides c1, c2 internally before it is outside the line segment, so externally, but now it is in between the points c1 and c2 so therefore it is internally and in the ratio a1 is to a2 that is c1 t by c2 t is equal to a1 by a2 so this is also the same as the point of intersection of direct common tangents but here it is internally instead of externally and both in the same ratio a1 is to a2 and for this we use the section formula for dividing internally that is mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n and my2 plus ny1 by m plus n. This is the same as before but instead of minus we have plus, right? When dividing externally we use minus and when dividing internally we use plus. And once again here x1, y1 and x2, y2 are the centers c1 and c2 respectively and m is to n is nothing but a1 is to a2 the ratio of the radii. It's very simple, right? Now let's go to the next topic some special cases of common tangents. So first consider two circles with centers C1 and C2. And in the case one we have C1, C2 is greater than A1 plus A2. That is the distance between the centers is more than the sum of the radii. And in this case the circles do not touch each other. Like you can see here, right? The second circle is outside the first circle and they don't touch each other at any point. And in this case, you can draw two direct common tangents and two transverse common tangents between the circles. This is the general case. And in case two, we have C1, C2 is equal to A1 plus A2. That is, the distance between the centers is equal to the sum of the radii. And in this case, the circles touch each other externally. 
so touching each other means that they intersect at only one point and externally means that the second circle is outside the first circle and in this case you can draw two direct common tangents same as before however you can only draw one transverse common tangent or in other words you can tell that transverse common tangents are coincident and in the third case we have c1 c2 is less than a1 plus a2 that is the distance between the centers is less than the sum of the radii and in this case the circles touch each other or the circles intersect at two points you can see here right they touch each other at two points and in this case you can draw two direct common tangents and no transverse common tangents or in other words you can tell that the transverse common tangents are imaginary they are not real and in the fourth case we have c1 c2 is equal to mod less of a1 minus a2 that is the distance between the centers will be equal to the difference between the radii and in this case the circles touch each other internally you can find this in this case right the circles intersect each other at one point and one of the circles lies inside the another circle so therefore they touch each other internally and in this case you can draw one direct common tangent and no transverse common tangents or you can say the direct common tangents are coincident and the transverse common tangents are imaginary they are not real and in the final case c1 c2 is less than a1 minus a2 that is the distance between the centers will be less than the difference between the radii and in this case one of the circles lies inside the another circle and in this case you can draw zero direct common tangents and zero transverse common tangents that is all the tangents are imaginary no tangent is real thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the channel to not miss any future uploads